Hello everyone. Today I'm showing you a way of creating a very nice surface in Grasshopper and having a um, the adjustments of the height, the adjustments of the intensity, and the adjustments of length, um, as well as using another graph tool that we already had in one of the previous videos to manipulate a surface of like boxes who kind of like shape out into one direction um, as well with the help of a attractor point. So the thing I'm gonna do is gonna restart a new file now. Um, we're going to, I'm trying to draw this down. Uh, we're going to have a line and from this line we will have an extrusion and on this extrusion there will be like certain brick type um, uh, panels that are uh, on the thing. It will also work with different ones. We will be using, for the sake of simplicity, in this case, Lunchbox, because um, Lunchbox is a great tool of doing that. And it will show up, up here in the part. And um, those boxes, they will be um, exuded outwards so yeah you have an extrusion of each of those boxes and this will not only be dependent on um can i delete it no it's, it's not only be dependent on um the on the tractor point which will be set somewhere here so it breaks to that but um it will also be dependent on a graph that we have that works with X and Y and maybe like a sinus curve or something um, that reacts to this as well. So we have a basically, we're displaying a sinus curve on this facade in a way as well. Okay, so to start simply, like the first thing we're gonna do is we just create a simple point with construct point and then we're going to use um, the SDL, line SDL command, which basically defines a point and then it uses a vector and it basically follows this vector with a length that you define before. So um, we're going to use um, this point that we have here. Maybe we'll use a different um, different coordinate a little bit and the it will be in the x direction and the length will be somewhere around yeah I don't know this and now we want to move it up into the z direction so we just use the command extrude then we put in z unit z and we also want to have a certain amount that we're going to extrude it. So in this case, it will be 11. Obviously, yours might vary. And the next thing we're going to do is we use the, um, in the lunchbox on our panels. You have to download this before, but it's very easy to download. I think I will leave a link below. And um, you have, in this case, I will use the staggered quad panels. And it basically uses a um, brick shape, uh, shape pattern on it as well. Um, and we're going to use, uh, obviously you can like divide it as well um, in the U and V direction of the surface itself. So yeah, I think very straightforward. Um, the next thing that we're gonna do, we are going to um, use because you want to have um, each of the panels has a certain midpoint and the surface cannot have, the certain has, the surface has a midpoint, but it doesn't know where it is. So we need to like know where those midpoints are in order for them to react on our small uh, tractor point. So we're going to use, um, there are several different tools that you can use. One is area, it shows you the area of each surface as well as the center of it. 
but because it takes a little bit more computation time, we're going to use um, under curve analysis, uh, polygon center. In this case, it doesn't really matter which one of those three you use, but uh, yeah. And it will determine the midpoints of our reach for the panels. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is we are going to um, use the distance command and we are having the distance of a attractor point that we define now by ourselves. Put it here. And we're gonna have a certain distance between the two points as well we would see it here. Um, next thing we're gonna do, wait, let me just get some here. here. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to um, uh, Remap those number numbers. It's also under maths domain, and we're going to use a the bounds of the domain, like the source of the domain, which will be the lowest distance and the highest distance, and this will be put into source, and the target will be the um, the the way how the numbers will be displayed. As you see here, or like here as well, so we have a big number and those numbers will be like crunched into like a smaller number space. Um, so the values are those that we have here. And now we have the remap numbers. The target will be the same because we're using the um, graph mapper. Oopa. Graph mapper. And um, if you right click it and select graph types, for example, we will select the Perlin one, which is like basically a random definition of points. So, like you don't really have too much influence over it. Or like you can increase the randomness factor um, of it. And we will just put this under here and it basically remaps those numbers in um, a different ways. So basically if you have um, an X version, uh, an X number here, it will be redefined here. So it will like remap those numbers in, a, in its own way. And um, with this indicator, we will also set a multiplicator in order for it to have, have a um, more control over the like strongness of it. I'll put this here. And now we have a result of those different numbers. And we're gonna use the offset command and we're going to offset the surface of the panels in the distance that we have here. Okay, so this looks already quite good, but what we want to do is now is like also we're gonna connect those two pieces together. A good way to do this is just like to use um, BREP edges and it will show you um, the edges of the BREP and as well, we will use the um, panels BREP and the offsetted surface BREP. And we're going to use a URL surface between those two ones. So we have a very nice um, surface in the end. Um, so yeah, now what you can do, you can play around with it and see how it performs. And we might need to, because you might want to like um, make some quick renderings and like some variations. So we're going to use the merge command, which basically puts those, uh, we can like put those things together. And we have them in different, in like one um, command as well. In order to have them as well in the white trees, we have to graft this tree as well here. So we can easily um, to find some variations and like put this one here and then we go play with the graph and maybe use say Gaussian curve for example it looks a little more something like in, uh, in Rotterdam the market hall as well gonna pick this as well move it a little bit up here then we're gonna um, maybe uh, in in decrease the uh, intensity of it and also increase the amount of panels that we want to use and we're going to back this again and gonna move it so we have a have it here maybe and um, maybe we can move the attractor point around a little bit 
and see how where this will lead us and see if you're happy with the, with the height maybe or should have a little different so oh, let's actually keep the height the same at the moment maybe increase the distance length of it and so uh, we can make it again no oh, no not this one this one and if you really are into it we can uh, you can make a almost like a how do you say like a row of all of the different walls that you have and um, put them just side by side have them here look on the perspective viewport so now we'd have like a very nice variation of it and maybe you can like also like with a dolly zoom um, can move into it a little bit more like this and um, just like simply press render see how it will look and we will let me change a few things here quickly so yeah so here you go that's a way of uh, making like very nice and like lots of variations in a very quick time and to come up with a reasonable um, idea maybe different shapes different ways of how to do it different um, different outcomes that can you can basically expect and um, yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video hope you liked it and um, yeah, I will link the lunchbox too below so you can check it out and see how it will bring to you. It will bring to you. You can always use as well some hexagonal shapes or um, uh, they have like also different uh, quad panels as well as um, some other stuff. So yeah, it's a very useful tool that you can check out. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and see you next.